authority, meteorologist Rob Rhodes. Oh, it worked in rehearsal. Oh, man. I, it's not working. It's, oh, oh, well. We'll work on that. My lightsaber was working for a little bit. Wouldn't it be sad if Luke Skywalker's up there, and there's Darth Vader, and Vader's like that, and then Luke goes, I, I can't get it. I, I, I can't get it. I need new batteries. My batteries are dead. That would happen to Ron Solo, no doubt. As we take a look at what's going on right now outside, we've got ourselves a beautiful looking Monday, at least for now we do. It's gonna be getting a little cloudier though as we work our way through the afternoon. That's our Heads Construction Tower Cam shot, of course, looking down upon a host of green trees. And they didn't get much of a drink of water over the weekend, just had a few stray showers out and about. And that was about it. The big thunderstorm stayed to our south. I don't think anybody's complaining about that. And we've got a storm threat again tonight, too. And we could be seeing some more of those thunderstorms uh, moving in. It looks like mainly a large hail threat as we look down from our fifth third bank perch uh, upon the Ohio and, of course, the west side of town. Right now, the temperature's at 70 degrees. We've got a wind that's calm. The wind's not going to be a big factor today from the north northeast at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Obviously, when we have the thunderstorms move in, it could become a bigger factor with some gusts that could be up to damaging wind force, which would be 58 miles an hour or greater. So, yeah, we could see some 60 mile per hour winds with some of these. I think the main threat, though, is going to be large hail. These are going to be elevated storms. We're not really going to get a lot of surface instability. So, usually those are hail makers, and I think that's what we've got on our hands later on tonight. All right, temperature wise, 68 degrees in Lagodi, 69 in Jasper, 70 in Santa Claus, 71 in Dixon, 72 in Calhoun, 73 degrees in Madisonville. So, a short run out there. And that's okay. All of us pretty much bunched in around 70 degrees, and I love it. I love this too. All right, over the weekend we had pretty good weather, and that was good enough weather yesterday, even though we had a few more clouds in play for this big catch right here. This is from Thomas, Sharina, Bryson, and Harlan. They all played a role. I forget which role each played, but I know one of them reeled it in, probably this dude right here. One had a net, the other got the bait, and the other got the scale so they could weigh the fish, and it's an 18 pound catfish. Good fishing. I believe that's the Jarnett family. I could be wrong on the name, but that was the email address anyway that came on. Good going. As far as the weather goes right now, you can see just a few clouds out and about, plenty of sunshine. A lot of these clouds are higher thin clouds, too, that the sunshine is having no trouble peering through. Check out this storm system. Let's go ahead and check it out even better. I mean, it's re really racing across the plain states, the area of low pressure down to the south, but you can see what it's driving our way showers and thunderstorms. And look at these storms just explode in Oklahoma. They were getting tennis ball sized hail at nine o'clock this morning when these storms erupted. Just an impressive storm system that is moving in our direction. It's going to lose some punch when it moves our way, but it's packing quite a punch as it moves into Missouri right now. Future tracker again showing more clouds stacking up and really a solid overcast by late afternoon. Here come the showers and a few thunderstorms. The biggest threat is going to be a little bit later tonight. You're going to see these thunderstorms really fire up. And again, it's the southwest half of the tri-state that has this threat out there. And there are those thunderstorms just before midnight pushing across parts of southeast Illinois, south of 64, and western Kentucky where we have that severe threat. And as we Headed to the overnight hours, things settle down. Still some rain though hanging around. And we're going to see that chance of rain throughout the morning tomorrow before that starts to taper off as we head into the afternoon. And still a slight chance of rain on Wednesday. But on the backside of these storms, it will be a lot cooler out there. Temperature highs again will be in the mid 60s tomorrow. We're going to be in the mid 70s today. All right, marginal risk, isolated severe threat, pretty much the southwestern half of the tri-state does include Owensboro now, because it's been bumped up just a little bit, but it's pretty much Evansville to Owensboro and then down to the southwest. All right, the threats we've got in play, really not seeing a tornado threat here in the tri-state that's down to the southwest. We are seeing a little bit of a hail threat, level one, also a level one wind threat out there too. Here's my forecast for this Monday, the fourth day of May. Mid 70s for a high with a north northeast wind at around five to 10. As sunshine gives way to clouds this afternoon, showers and thunderstorms and an isolated severe threat tonight to the southwest. And you can see we've got the chance for rain tomorrow, 60s for highs for the rest of the week. And look at this morning low, Angie, on Saturday, 38 degrees. Yes, we could see a little bit of frost out there. This is what we saw on Saturday morning. These are jellyfish clouds. Aren't they gorgeous? Awesome. I loved them. Those streaks coming down, that's actually water droplets that are evaporating on their way down. But it looks like a school of jellyfish. You think that's something? Wait till you see this. Can you show it, Amanda? Uh, oh, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have you got it? Or we don't have uh, it. But this is from Chris Conley oh, there, right there. There, there it was working. There. Yes, there we go. We got to show it, <laughs> in the, it right in the, there. Uh, is it going on? This is Ron trying to, when he got the lights well, working. Work. Now, see, that looks really cool. Yeah, it is. It, here it is up here. Well, it worked a lot better when my son had it the first time. Then we had the <laughs> well, I mean, battery. it's been around a while. So. Shout out to engineer Bob Stuffel. He is the one that made it work. Thanks, Bob. Yes. We'll be back with Charlie Stocker right after this. Stay with us.